Yes, the open uh, water triple crown consists of three swims, 21 miles across the English Channel, 20.2 miles across the Catalina Channel during the night, correct? And unbelievably, 28.5 miles around Manhattan Island. And to qualify for the triple crown recognition, a swimmer can only weigh, wear a porous swimsuit, swim cap, and goggles meaning that the swimmer cannot use anything that will help him s them swim, such as swims or and or a wetsuit. And whereas at age 63, Mr. Clifford, a University of America Maryland alumnus who is an attorney and part-time farmer from Poolsville, broke the record for the fastest swim across the English Channel in the over 50 age category. And to achieve the marathon swim, Mr. Clifford relied on the support boat Anastasia, captained by Eddie Spelling and the support team of Jay Clifford, Roger Finch, and Tracy Clark. And whereas Mr. Clifford completed the Catalina Channel swim in nine hours, 49 minutes, and the Manhattan Island swim in nine hours and 30 minutes, and by completing all three marathon swims, is just one of more than 100 individuals ever who have made the three swims and qualified for recognition by the World Open Water Swimming Association. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby recognize James Clifford, known as the Rocket, I understand, <laughs> and congratulates him for becoming the oldest swimmer to complete the Triple Crown of Open Water Swimming, presented this 29th day of September in the year 2015, and signed by our Council President, George Leventhal. Uh, so congratulations. <laughs> I put out a challenge to my colleagues and the staffs to join you in um, with our speedos today, <laughs> but to protect the public, uh, <laughs> they declined to do so in the spirit of uh, of public safety and uh, uh, art. And I just wanted to say very quickly that I've known the Cliffords for for many many years. Carol has kept Jim afloat for all that time, oh. and and. Thank you very much, thank you. And, but I have to also tell you that, of course, when Jim decided to do this, I think it should be noted, first off, that Nancy's husband was in the boat as well, David, uh, and was throwing food to you or whatever, throwing you, throwing you good cheer. But, but beyond that, the, Jim broke the record. He's the oldest person in, in history, to my understanding. If you and, consider 63 old. Yes. <laughs> we yeah, we don't, but he's still the oldest person in history that, that uh, broke this record, and he broke the English Channel record by 30 minutes. 30 minutes for someone over the age of 50 to swim this. Yes, that deserves a, a round of applause. Especially by the young people, that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> but, but I also wanted to say, beyond his, his ability to swim and, and everything else, and he's a good guy, and of course when he broke this record and did it in 10, 10 hours and 3 minutes, his buddies back home, because everybody was following him on Facebook, you know, somebody tweets, I can't believe you couldn't break 10 hours. Now, you know, so they had to give him a hard time. But, but I also have to tell you what a great person they are for all of our community in, in Montgomery County. They, they truly have a wonderful heart, and I'm just proud to be here with you today. Thank you. So, uh, M Mr. Clifford, a few words for the audience. You want to tell, tell, give away your special secrets? Uh, no, I, I don't have any speaking secrets, but I, I want to thank the council because uh, we don't have a lot of open water around here. We have, to, <laughs> we, we, we have to go looking for it, but what we do have is one of the best swimming facilities in the country, if not in the world, at uh, Germantown Aquatic Center. I was there this morning. It's in good shape, and uh, they're taking good care of it. And if it weren't for that place, uh, I too I spend many, many hours in that pool, and uh, I, I, I couldn't train without it. So if the council would ever see it in their hearts to allow me in that uh, Black Hills Reservoir, uh, we, could <laughs> we, we, could, we could probably solve a little bit of the, my open water problems. But, uh, <laughs> But for now, I'm very happy to be in the, in the Aquatic Center. But thank you very much. Well, congratulations, Jimmy. And uh, thank you, Carol, uh, for your support, your patience, and your love to uh, make this happen for uh, uh, your husband and really for Montgomery County. It's a proud day. Uh, it's been a proud stretch for all of us.